I'm Al McCormick here from Click Lewis Arena. This segment is going to deal with shooting. If you look at the NHL players, it's not necessarily all the biggest players are the best shooters. Sometimes the best shooters in the NHL are the smaller players because the emphasis is made the closer you get to the ice, the better you are. Now, I had told you that the stick handling position was here. Now, when you shoot, now is the time to grip the stick harder and you drop your hand down to shoot. So when you drop your hand down, your weight goes down with it. So I'm down in here. So now if I'm ready to shoot this way, I'm here, I drop my weight down, and I get my power behind the shot down in here. If I shoot from up here, I don't have as much power. I'm down here, so actually when I come down, I'm gonna be right down as low as I can. So now I start the puck behind me, transfer it, so I'm pushing on my stick, so I'm here with my hand out in front of me, top hand, up and over and fire, and I point to where I want the puck to go. I notice kids, the very first thing they think of is how high I can get it. That's not the emphasis. The emphasis should be starting the puck on the heel of your hockey stick, on a wrist shot, on the heel of the stick, because the puck will naturally rotate forward and go to here for the good shot. You start it in, in the middle, it'll go there, and it will flutter through the air. So try to start the puck on the heel, so you drop your weight down, transfer the weight, point your toe to where you want it to go, and you're in, and you're ready to fire. Okay, we're gonna have the boys demonstrate a couple of wrist shots coming from the backside. If you notice in the game and you watch the NHL players, a lot of them do not take a lot of wrist shots. They take a lot of snapshots. And when they take a snapshot, that means you actually are going to snap the wrist into the shot. So the puck will be basically here, all right, off your front foot, and your stick is not going to come up in a slap shot. It stays on the ice, so you just now turn your wrists, so now you turn them over, so your stick toe is right down in here like this. So now when I snap, I snap through the puck. So it's here and snap. When I snap, I went all the way through the puck. I don't try, a lot of kids try, the first thing they try to do is try to get so that it goes up in the air. Don't worry about it going up. What you worry about when you're taking a snapshot is actually velocity, accuracy, and form. I cannot emphasize, I watch kids coming out here to practice, and I, when I teach them snapshots, they have no idea what, how to do it. I don't care if they hit the glass. I don't care if they miss the net. I'm just doing it the right way, all right? Coming down with proper form and snapping that puck off. And you can do it if you watch off of both legs. One, you can snap off, with my case, a right-handed shooter leading with my left leg, or I can snap leading with my right leg. And what we'll do now is we'll have the boys demonstrate both of those shots as they come down and do a snapshot. One thing I want to emphasize, you notice that the last player actually went down as he shot. And I teach that. And if you watch some of the NHL players when they shoot and score, they actually go down right down to the ice, and they're that low when they shoot, they get a the power in it. And the second thing is, is that they don't get hit. They, they're down so low that the defenseman can't hit them when they're down low like that. If you notice a lot of times when players score in the NHL, a lot of times they're on their back or they're, they're knocked down after they shoot, or they go down so low to, to score the goal to make sure that they can put the puck in the net by getting down as close as they can to the ice to shoot hard. A good drill that if you have ice time and you have uh, the ability and you, and you want to get two players to work on their snapshots is this drill right here, where a player is going to start in the middle of the pucks here, and he's going to skate to the goal line and pick up pucks and continually practice both shots, all right, as he, sh as he goes through the drill. So watch this here. Down to the goal line, comes back up around, picks up a puck and snaps. Down to the goal line, picks up a puck, Comes and snaps. Goal line. You gotta do six of them.
Good. So we, had, we, we worked on both shots. We worked on the wrist shot first, and the second part we worked on our snap shot. Learn the shot on the ice, all right? But if you want to get better, you must practice at home over and over and over again. Whether you get a sheet of plywood or get a sheet of, of some sort of stuff from the ice arena and just get there and practice in the basement or just practice somewhere out and get a, a, a net in the driveway. But most importantly, you must practice, practice, practice at home.